Uh, are there any items we should be cleaning more often than others? Absolutely. High touch points are important, and those are door handles. Those are, um, you know, light switches, light plates, uh, you know, obviously cabinet fronts. Those are very important to clean and, you know, several times throughout the day. Let me ask you this. Do you have to buy a name brand? Do you rely on generics? Uh, are you worried about generics not having the same amount of, uh, of juice? <laughs> Not necessarily, as long as the you know active ingredient is the same, which for the most part generics are. Um, once again, just always best practice, test a small area before you use it, uh, but more often than not, you should be okay. Okay. Here's a good one, because a lot of people are really concerned right now. You mentioned how you guys clean and, and bleach and disinfectant, sort of the same thing. How often should you be cleaning those surfaces because of the situation we're in? Daily? More? Yeah, I mean, every situation is different. Lifestyles, how many people you have in your home, how often you're using items. Uh, I mean, I would actually you know, consider several times throughout the day. There's not a one size fits all. But if you know you're touching certain areas, certainly the high touch points, um, you, you could be cleaning it as often as every hour. I mean, uh, we see what, you know, uh, our people are doing in the grocery stores and, you know, we're constantly touching items and they're disinfecting that one after another as far as, uh, you know, customers are concerned. So it just depends on how often you're using items, how many times you're touching the door handle, doorknob. So absolutely it changes. Okay, next text coming in for Paul Campanario, Made Pro. I use the same rag to clean my house. Is that okay to do now? You know, you need to really consider changing your, your towels. Um, and we use different uh, color towels for the bathrooms and we use for the kitchen. Uh, you want to switch you know, quite often. And if you're, you're cleaning one area when you're done, you know, disinfect that one if that's the only towel you have. You just don't want to cross-contaminate. And once you move from one area to the house to the next, you possibly could be doing just that. So just obviously uh, use, uh, I don't want to say common sense, but, you know, if you're, you're cleaning your, your bathroom, you definitely don't want to use that same towel in the kitchen and vice versa. So as often as possible, yes, change out or disinfect your rags in between. Yeah, it's stuff you probably do every day anyway. So that's, that's important. I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, after disinfecting my home, next text, should I immediately wash the rags, my clothes, and wash myself? Uh, you know, I don't know about washing yourself, uh, but if you're wearing your protective equipment, so your PPE, personal protective equipment, your mask, your gloves, your goggles, you certainly can uh, dispose of those if most of them are going to be uh, disposable. But as far as your towels, I would recommend having a, a little trash liner nearby so when you're done wiping down your countertops, your high touch points, put them in that bag, lock them up or tie them up, and then, you know, put them in the laundry as soon as possible, which uh, would be a best practice. We got that guy on the screen, boy. He, he keeps cleaning under that same couch. I don't think he's been able to get what's under there. <laughs> uh, next text coming in. I'm hesitant about hiring a maid or any cleaning service. What safety precautions are cleaning services taking? Yeah, so you know, we talked about personal protective equipment. So it's important to have your... Uh, what I mean, for example, what we do is in between homes, we do our... Uh, sanitize and disinfect our shoe covers. We've used new ones. We're using new gloves, new masks every single time we go into someone's house. We also disinfect our equipment. Um, so in between homes, we, we make sure that all of our stuff is clean and ready to go so we're not cross-contaminating. Um, and those are just some of the best practices we use, which anyone can use as well. You know, if you're going from home to home, visiting family or whatnot, just make sure your shoes are clean, take your shoes off, yeah. and that way you're not bringing stuff from the outside inside. Next text coming in for Paul. Should I be cleaning my electronics as well as like my TV, my player, computer, all of that stuff quickly, Paul? Not as important as like your, your cell phone or, you know, handheld telephones. Um, so the things that you're once again touching regularly are most important. So your TV, um, you know, just not as important as the other handheld items. Okay, good to know. We're, we clean stuff here at the station constantly and I guess better safe than sorry. Paul.